Hello, uh, so today I'm going to be showing you how to do the Kyle Perico heist. I'm going to be showing you how to do it in hard mode. And I'm going to be showing you what route to take if you really want to get the Elite Challenge. Uh, keep in mind that if you want to do this like with a friend, you can also follow the same route. And just know that like if you do this every time, you should be able to get a million every hour. So yeah, enjoy. Alright, so once you got everything done... Uh, by the way, these are the preps you gotta do the Kasaka, these three uh, equipment, and then you gotta do the conspirator loadout. And once you have all that, uh, you're ready. So, start it up. Alright, so you're gonna wanna choose the Kasaka infiltration, the drainage tunnel, uh, the compound drainage tunnel, the escape point, the main dock, time of day is gonna be day, and the weapon loadout. Make sure you have suppressors on. You don't have to pay for them usually. They usually still pop up. So yeah, until you have that, you're ready. All right, so what you want to do, what you're first going to want to do is pretty self-explanatory. All right. So you're just going to have to go to the drainage tunnel, which is pretty, you just keep swimming straight. And you can see the little checkpoint over there. So you just want to keep swimming and once you get there there's going to be a little gate you're going to have to like break open with the with the cutting torch you're going to have to blow the door in and then from there on i will show you the route you should really take it's usually the same thing every time um and this should the route the route i take makes like the time inside the compound like pretty fucking easy it's really short really easy and it should guarantee get you a lead challenge every time. And I'm gonna try my best not to cut, like, so I can show you how it actually takes, like, this entire time. Alright, so you're just gonna wanna cut this right here. Keep going side to side on the top. Go down. Then you wanna go side to side again. So once you're done with all that, you just keep swimming forward. And then once you get to the end, you're going to want to spam the right arrow. Because that's what you have to do every time you go to like a major checkpoint. Like when you're leaving, you do the same thing at the door. Alright, so he's going to go up here. Alright, so... Once you're here, you can take out like, preferably the AR, the military rifle. Uh, you can wanna take out this dude. And you're gonna wait like right here for that guy to turn over here. You could run past, but every, I mean, I preferably take this guy out. So like right here, once you get him. You don't really gotta get the key card or nothing, you just gotta wait. You don't want to go up because that dude turns over here. I just show him if he turns. He's gonna stop halfway. Alright, he's gonna take him out. Uh, you can take out that camera right here. It really doesn't matter. I prefer not to, just save some time. Right, so you can sprint if you want. Alright, the guard with the red uh, little vision cone is gonna turn around over here. Dude right here on the left is going to turn. Yeah, so this dude is walking across. He's going to stop at the doorway to have it ready. Because he did turn toward you, but I'm pretty sure he still doesn't see you. But that's like a good like time where you should shoot. This dude right here, make sure you get out on the wall. Because if you don't get like past the wall, you're going to shoot the wall on accident. Alright, so then you're going to sprint up the stairs. Make sure you beat the guy to like over here. So he's going to little pause, then he's going to walk forward again. Right here, you gotta be pretty quick. Like right here, you gotta just hurry up and take him out. Cause he will turn and he will be caught if you like miss your shots. All right, so we didn't have a we didn't have a painting in the office, so we're just gonna go straight for the vault. It takes no money out of your. Uh, no, it takes no space inside the bag, and you can get anywhere from fifty to one hundred thousand. All right, so we're gonna put in the fingerprint cloner. This is pretty easy. Um, 
if you could just all you really did, gotta do is just pay attention to the patterns so this one's always like the top of it you can pay you see it has a pattern in the middle you can really just follow that pattern throughout the entire fingerprint like that i just followed that little y shape and then the same thing again so this one i just like making sure like the make sure like it just lines up in the middle and this is hard mode so like you are gonna have like a fourth fingerprint all right so run the last one All right, now we got all four. All right. So we're just gonna wanna walk straight into the elevator. All right, break the distance. All right, for the tequila bottle, when you have the plasma cutter, or like with anything in here, the plasma cutter, you're just gonna wanna just hold R2 till it almost overheats, let it cool down, do it again. You should do this like three, four times, and it'll usually just be done. Alright, there you go. You could go out the other way, but I just like doing this because it's like a rhythm I have. You can just keep going through here. I mean, the other way does require like a whole fingerprint, so that takes a while. So you're usually gonna wanna. Uh, oh. Sometimes you gotta watch out for this dude. He is pretty close. Open the gate. And first, you're gonna take out the dude on the left over here, just in case you just wanna like stand over here for a good vantage point. So the way this is lined up, he's gonna walk to like to the left, I think. Yeah. And once he gets out of the vision of this dude, he should really take him out. Because I have like a history where like, where he still, he gets killed, but for some reason since he's still in the vision cone, he could hear him get killed. I don't know, some random stuff. If you want the combat shotgun, it's usually up there, but, you know, I already got it, so I'm not going to go up there. All right, so when you're when you're getting out, it's pretty it's pretty easy. You just gotta take out like three guards, one camera, and follow the path I take. All right, so you want to take out this first guy, and then over here on the right, uh, you want to stay pretty distant. Uh, just pretty easy. And then these two guys, you just gotta walk up and just mark both of them. Get one guy and immediately go to the next one. And then get that camera, obviously, so you can get out of here. Alright. Get on this bike. If you have somebody with you, they can get on this bike right here. Alright, so you're just gonna wanna exit off over here. Be careful with the trees. Cause you know they're like basically made out of steel you can't fucking get through them sometimes just follow this right here all right so just gonna keep going forward and then right here where i'm at right now this is where you want to park and get off so you're gonna go to this main lockup right here Then you wanna, then you're gonna wanna, oh shit, there's no camera. There's usually the camera there, you're gonna wanna take that out too. Oh shit. I forgot it's just cash in here. Um, usually there's like cocaine, weed, and like stuff in there, but since it's just cash, you really just wanna avoid that. And the dude I have to take out to get to the other ones over there, so I'ma just take out this dude. 
and take out the dude watching the exit of the of the main dock. Take that guy out as well. I think ultimately I'm gonna have to end up getting that cash, so I'm gonna go back for it. Because I'm pretty sure the other one is not gonna have two things of cocaine. Because then damn. But yeah, try your best to get like drugs and shit. If you're doing it solo, drugs is really all you need. Cause like cash takes up space, obviously, and it's the least valuable thing on the item on the island. Usually, there's paintings in the in the office and shit, so that fills up your bag. So you can just get drugs and you can have a full bag. We're doing pretty good on time, so we don't really gotta like speed run it right here. We can take a little bit of a time. All right, so take out that guy and the guy over there he's standing right next to the um he's standing right next to the lockup right here and you want to be careful because if you get too close to him he's going to turn around and just like mark you so you want to be careful with your shot oh shit i thought i missed that all right but once you get that shot um you want to head over here oh it looks like there's just one thing of cocaine and i think we're just going to be very unlucky today Alright, so it turns out there's just one thing of cocaine, so we're not going to get the Elite Challenge, which which is pretty fucking shitty. Oh my god, okay, but Alright, so you're going to have to get this cocaine. Usually there's something else here as well, but apparently we just got fucking bit in the ass today, but... But you're going to want to, um, you never want to go for the main boat. Cause that's really unnecessary you don't have to do all that uh, don't ever go for the boat right here in the first tent always go for the one in the second or the third so the middle or on the left right here because these are the ones that are gonna uh, you're gonna want to take if you want to avoid like confrontation with the guards over there like oh shit what the fuck is my guy doing if you want to avoid confrontation you know if you don't want to take out those two guards because you really shouldn't because it's a really high risk of you getting caught they're gonna wanna barely rev it and take the turn so you, you can actually make the turn. And then just go straight, yeah. I don't think there's any patrol boats nearby. Alright, so if you just follow those steps, follow that route, the those last two lo lockups we had only had one in each, which is extremely fucking rare. Got 1.2. All right, so it turns. Oh shit! 11 minutes. So this is a pretty good, pretty helpful guide. But we did not get full loot bags because the fucking lockup decided to just fuck us over at the end. But so yeah, just keep following this uh, this little route that I that I'm showing y'all. All right, so yeah, that's it. That's the Kyle Preco hard mode elite challenge for you. Um, so yeah.